Prosecutors at the Stanbul Courthouse where Prosecutor Mehmet Salim Kiraz was murdered in his office on March 31 have said they fear for their lives and criticized Stanbul Chief Public Prosecutor Hadi Salihullu in an April 2 meeting for removing the prosecutor's personal guards 10 days before Kiraz's death. Salihullu, in the meeting, allegedly scolded the prosecutors for leaving the courthouse after the attack on Tuesday. Reacting to Salihullu's attitude, the prosecutors said security personnel came to the prosecutors' offices and asked them to leave the courthouse building and not to wait outside. The prosecutors, who are investigating cases related to many terrorist organizations, responded in kind to Sally Holu, saying they fear for their safety as he had ordered the removal of personal guards in his role as head of a provincial security council. Overcome by the reactions of the prosecutors, Sally Holo said he did his best at the Provincial Security Council to provide security to the prosecutors, noting that there is no security gap. Prosecutors then asked Sally Holo why Kiraz was killed in his office. Kiraz was overseeing the investigation into the death of Birkin Elvin, the 15-year-old who died in a coma nine months after being hit by a tear gas canister fired by police during the Ghazi Park protests in June 2013. Kiraz was killed by militants from the outlawed Revolutionary People's Liberation Party slash Front, DHKP slash C, after being taken hostage on March 31st. TBB, allegations Kiraz hit by 10 bullets must be investigated thoroughly. Turkish Bar Association, TBB, Chairman Medan Faziolu said on Saturday that allegations that Kiraz was caught in the crossfire during the rescue operation must be investigated fully. While visiting Antkabur, the mausoleum of Mustafa Kemal Atatürk in Ankara, on Saturday, marked as Lawyer's Day, Faziolu said hospital reports indicating Kiraz was hit by 10 bullets, contrary to the five bullets announced by the authorities after the incident, should be examined. The Zaman Daily reported on Saturday that the doctor's report at Florence Nightingale Hospital revealed that 10 bullets hit Kiraz's front and back although the authorities announced after his death that only five bullets had hit the prosecutor. The report also said the prosecutor had already died by the time he arrived at the hospital, but President Recep Tayyip Erdogan said after the rescue operation that Kiraz had been critically injured and taken to surgery. The report contradicts official statements as well as a statement from the Stanbul Chief Public Prosecutor's Office on Thursday that said an autopsy performed on Kiraz showed that he was shot in the head at close range. The statement added that the gun used in that shooting was a 7.65mm French long pistol, which had been held by the terrorists who had taken him hostage. According to the statement, the autopsy was performed at the Council of Forensic Medicine, ATK at 1.30 a.m. on Wednesday. There have been claims that the prosecutor might have been erroneously killed by Turkish security forces who carried out the failed rescue operation. According to Stanbul Courthouse sources, today's Zaman has learned that there were 180 bullet traces on the walls of Kiraz's office where he was taken hostage. Some 20 to 30 bullets were fired from the terrorists' guns so it is believed that police used around 150 of these bullets after entering the room by blowing up its wall. Murat Sedaner, a former police chief who has taught tactical negotiation techniques in counterterrorism at the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, OSCE, told today's Zaman that blowing up the office wall and using more than 150 bullets would mean that the police must have thought Kiraz had already been killed by the terrorists. If the information is true, then Kiraz was already dead when the police operation started. Otherwise, using this amount of ammunition and explosives would have put Kiraz's life in danger, Sedaner said.